Should you crack your knuckles? Like, is it bad to crack your knuckles? We're gonna talk about it in this video. Slam, Big Mac 11, back of the seven on some bullshit. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Farhan. I'm on TikTok at Mad Medicine. Somehow on TikTok, we got like 1.2 million followers. I don't know how, but I know I've been neglecting my YouTube fam. My bad guys. Anyways, I'm gonna be posting more videos on here. Today, however, we're gonna be discussing a video I saw while I was mindlessly scrolling through TikTok, okay? And when I saw this video, it really caught my eye. It really caught my attention because it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. And spoiler alert, it has to do with cracking your knuckles. Well, cracking really any joint in your body. Anyways, let's watch the video and then let's talk about it. Ready? Let's put up the video and let's press play. Okay. After an eight hour shift, so we've got the neck, the knuckles. That's fair. Okay, we're going for it. Every. Alright, we got the back. Jeez, and the toes? Ankles, knees? I don't even know. Hip? Jeez, what what were you doing on your shift? Wow. First of all, I want to give this individual a shout out because that was amazing. She was able to crack literally every single joint in her body. I have never seen that in my life. I've heard people saying I can crack every joint, but she literally cracked every single joint available on camera. So Kudos to her, that was amazing, really cool to see. Now you might be wondering, is this safe? Is this dangerous? Will she be at a higher risk of hurting her joints down the road? Is she at a higher risk of getting arthritis? That's something a lot of people wonder. Is it safe to crack your knuckles? And in order for us to understand what happens when we crack our knuckles, we actually have to talk about what's going on inside of the knuckles themselves or inside of any joint. You see, Inside of your joints, you have this fluid called synovial fluid. The purpose of synovial fluid is to lubricate our joints. It's a lubricant. Well, sometimes, a lot of times actually, you are gonna develop bubbles in that synovial fluid. That is normal. You have it, I have it. Everyone has bubbles in the synovial fluid. When you crack your knuckles, there you go. When you crack your knuckles, you are actually popping the bubbles that are in the synovial fluid. That's all it is. It really has nothing to do with the joint space itself. And if you give your joints another 30 to 15 minutes, something like that, those bubbles will reform and you can crack your joint again. That's simply what's happening. Now, a lot of people think that by cracking your joints over and over again, over a long period of time, you're gonna develop something called osteoarthritis, which is a type of wear and tear disease of your joints. And the answer to that misconception is no, you will not develop osteoarthritis. And I'm not just saying this, I'm not just making this up. This has been studied. This has been tested in a actual study. And the study is really interesting, so I wanna talk about that really quickly. There was a researcher by the name of Robert Unger. All right, so I realized I made a mistake. The name of the researcher was Donald Unger and not like Robert Unger or whatever I said. So I misspoke. This guy literally cracked the, all the bones in one hand for about 60 years, but didn't crack the, the, the joints in his other hand. And then he took x-rays of both of his hands to see if there was a difference between the hand he constantly was, or you know, cracking, the knuckles that he was constantly cracking, compared to the hand where he wasn't doing it. And he saw no change. There was no degenerative change between the two hands. They were exactly the same. And he ended up getting a prize for that called the Ig Nobel Award. Not the Nobel Prize, the Ig Nobel Prize. Pretty interesting. I don't know why he thought he wanted to do that. That's just a really cool experiment, but he did it for almost 60 years and we found out that there's really no degenerative disease that happens. And if you think about it, we all crack our knuckles. Every one of us, right? Everyone cracks their knuckles all the time. Everyone cracks their back, everyone cracks their legs, etc., etc. But not everyone gets osteoarthritis across the board. If there was such a correlation, such a huge link between the two, wouldn't you think every elderly person had, would have osteoarthritis? But they don't. A lot of people do, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people don't either. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Anyways, that video was insane. I have never seen something like that. Um, it blows my mind what the body can do. It really blows my mind. So yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was uh, educational for you. I hope you learned something. If you did, you know, hit the like button. Um, I do have some fun updates. So I have decided I'm gonna create Mad Medicine into an educational platform for everyone, especially for students. You see, one of my biggest gripes about medical school and about like medical education is the fact that when you are going through all this school, you're going through all this education, you are going into so much debt that like it's insane think about that for a second not only are you gonna have like college debt you're also gonna have like medical school debt and then you're gonna have debt in like other freaking aspects okay you're not gonna be making money you're gonna be poor and then, then you gotta go through residency to become a doctor oh my god it is so sad right well I don't like that and I also don't like the fact that everyone charges an arm and a leg for you to learn so I've decided I'm gonna create educational content for free and we're gonna give it out to you for free because I don't believe in there being a paywall I think that's complete bullshit so if you are a pre-med student and you want to get into medical school or if you are a medical student and you are studying for step one step two stay tuned because we're gonna be releasing educational content all of the time okay we're gonna be releasing educational content regularly that has to uh, do with the MCAT with the USMLE step one and step two so stay tuned for that, okay? Um, we're working on the MCAT and the Step 1 series right now. Step 2 is also in production. So hopefully real soon, y'all will be seeing them. I'm also going to be recording a few today, a few videos, because uh, I have to... I just want to get this going. I want to get it out there for you guys to use for your exams. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy them. Anyways, so that's the end of the real video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was educational for you. If it was, Hit the subscribe button and send it to a friend so that they can learn something too. If you want to follow me on TikTok, by all means, go ahead. My handle is at Mad Medicine. And um, yeah, I'm going to be posting the next video on my channel in a little bit. So stay tuned. Take care, fam. Take it easy.